Hello, welcome back to the Think Tank. I'm Pastor Devin from New Beginnings Church, and I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Have you ever had someone out there that you just don't like, and you sure wish you could just destroy them? You know, I, I don't know about you, I think everybody in the world has had one of those moments in time where they have just imagined uh, just doing something to somebody else because they've irritated them so much. Now you might want to think, what's that got to do coming out of a pastor's mouth? Why, why are you talking about that? Because today I want to talk to you about how much God really loves you. You know what? A lot of us in the world, we're desperate to be loved by someone. And, and we think that no one else could ever feel the pain that we feel about the love we have for someone, how desperate we are. But I want to tell you that God is more desperately in love with you than anybody else has been in love for all of eternity. And I, I can prove it. Because remember that example I told you earlier, if you had the power to do so, uh, maybe before you were a Christian or maybe <laughs> while you are a Christian now, yeah, some people just get under our skin, don't they? But you know, we don't have the power to destroy them. But you know who does? God does. And think about all the people in the world and what everybody has done have made God mad. But you know what? God doesn't destroy any of us. That's the proof that God loves us. And yet, what about us? We still do things wrong, even when we're a Christian. And, and, we, and what happens? God chooses not to destroy us. He chooses to what? Let us be. The proof is we're still here because He loves us so much because He's desperate to be in love with us. He gives us chance after chance after chance after chance. Why? Because He simply is in love with you, whether you are or not. That's how deep God loves you. He's the one that actually has the power to say, man, I'm tired of that person. See you later. But God doesn't do that and gives you all these chances because he loves you so very much. So you're out in the world and you meet somebody. Or maybe you're having a bad day. Realize that God loves you. When you do something wrong, realize God wants to forgive you. And don't let it dwell or, or fester in your life because God loves you no matter what. And when you meet somebody in the world who doesn't feel that they measure up, well, first of all, they don't. It's God. But you know what? God loves them what? Anyway, they feel like they've done too many things wrong. And it doesn't matter. God is still deeply in love with them. And we need to look at those people, especially the ones that irritate us, and say, you know what? God made them. God loves them too, just as much as he loves me. And I need to share the love of Jesus with them. You know, when we do that, we are, we are making God so very happy. He is so happy when we do that because we are loving the ones that he loves. You know what? Then he will bless your life. Then the blessings will come in. You know, when you start to live like that and live like God wants you to live, living like God, what's God say? To imitate Him. When we do that, that's when God will bless you and bless your socks off. I don't know about you, that's what I want in my life. It's not easy. I never said the Christian life would be easy. But you know what? We do that, we show God how much love we have for Him, and then He shows it back to us more than we can ever imagine. And why? Because Jesus loves you. I love you, and you are absolutely awesome.